friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we have sort of a mail time video. Uh, a while back I ordered something from Amazon and it arrived yesterday. Not in traditional Amazon packaging. As you can see, this came from overseas. Yes, it was ordered from Amazon, but it came from China. So, as you can tell, this is not packaged in the box, which is typical for these sets. This is not Lego, it's not Lepin, but it is a Chinese brand. This is actually from a company called Enlighten, and this is from their City Series. Let's go ahead and see what it is. All right, here we go. This is the Enlighten bus stop. This is their answer to the LEGO set 60154, the bus station. It's very similar in that you have a bus stop, a few riders, and the bus itself, but it has its own unique differences. This is not a ripoff of the LEGO set. This is a totally unique and original build. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we think. Here we have Enlightened Bricks set number 1121. This is their city bus set. As you can see, we have a bus and a bus stop along with a few minifigures. Now let's go ahead and take a look at each component individually, starting with the figures. Here we have our bus driver. As you can see, he's got a printed vest and tie. The print is pretty good. His face is perfectly appropriate. And he's got a that service cap that has been used for police officers and bus drivers and train engineers and stuff in the past. The uh, overall figure is not too bad as far as it looks. The build quality, the quality of the pieces is not Lego for sure. In fact, this is not what my previous experience with Enlighten was either. This is cheaper feeling. It's got a, I guess, a, I would describe it as more brittle, although it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It's just it's a harder plastic. The clutch power on Lego is tight yet smooth. This is tight and hard, if that makes sense. Things really click into place and it's just, I don't know, it's, it, it doesn't feel quite the same as Lego. Once they're together, I mean, they, they move about the same. The arms and the legs have the same articulation. I mean, they're all the same proportions and everything, but the movement is not quite as smooth. It's a little bit, a little bit stiffer, I guess you'd say. Next we have our woman passenger. She has a nice print on her torso and a nice print on her face. I like those glasses. This is the lowest quality figure in my opinion. The hair piece feels really thin and hard plastic. It looks good, but it just doesn't have the right feel to it. Again, not at all Lego or not even like my previous experience with Enlighten. When I was assembling this figure, you do have to put the hands on all these figures, by the way. The arms are already on the torsos, but the hands are not in the arms. But when I put the hands in, uh, one of the arms just popped right off. It, it went back in without any trouble, but it just, you can tell that it's not Lego. It looks okay if it was on display, but as far as kids playing with it, it may fall apart in hands that are less gingerly gentle. Next we have our elderly passenger. He's got kind of a gray goatee under his smile. He's wearing some glasses, gray eyebrows, yet he's got some bright white hair. I think I would have liked this a little better if he had the gray hair to match the, the gray facial hair. He has a, a walking stick there that's just a lightsaber piece basically. Uh, the print on the torso is pretty good. He's got a vest and a buttoned-up shirt. Just like that bus driver figure, his articulation is a little bit stiff. It's not bad, not as smooth as Lego, and the, the plastic is, you know, roughly the same. It's it's uh, solid. I mean, the clutch power is good. It just feels a little rougher rather than smooth like Lego typically does. And here is our young passenger. Um, I like his t-shirt print. That's kind of interesting. Almost looks like graffiti or something. His face print is pretty good. He's got a red ball cap and some tan khakis on. Uh, he's carrying a, I don't know if that's a suitcase or a lunchbox. I don't know, I'd almost say he's a runaway and he's uh, taking the bus to get out of town. Anyway, not a bad looking figure, I don't think. Here is the bus stop. This build is okay. It's small, but effective. We've got a little street light over here. There is a recycle bin with a recyclable sticker up there at the top. The bus stop sign and the cityscape is also 
a set of stickers. There's a little bench here that's just one stud wide, so it's not really usable, but it looks okay. There's a tiled floor. It's a bit thin. It's uh, not super sturdy, so play value on this is not going to be fantastic for younger kids anyway. It would look fine on display for a, you know, a city or something like that, but it's not very rugged as far as playability goes. And finally we have the bus. The bus actually is a pretty good looking model. I will say that these wheels, um, they roll okay on the surface, but this side doesn't roll very freely. It rolls, um, but you can't just spin it. Same thing with the back one. So they're a little tight for some reason, and I'm not sure exactly why. Incidentally, this here is one big sticker that spans two long bricks. The way it's printed, if you were careful with an X-Acto knife or something, you could cut that sticker and have it cut it into two, so it would be one on each brick. Uh, but the way it comes is one large sticker that spans the two bricks, so I'm not a big fan of that. There were several stickers in this set, and I think they do add to the overall look. They're not essential, but they, they do help. The one up there says 0168 Education Base, which I thought was kind of funny. I guess that's a university or something. Um, and then down here, 1121 Street. The set number is 1121, so that's clever. We've got a license plate down there. And then over here, we have a couple of kind of cool doors. I haven't seen any quite like this from Lego. Um, they open up. And inside, I'll try and get a better close-up of this, but there's a, a little place for you to put your bus token. And the back doors open up the same way. We have some simulated mirrors over there. And some lights on the side. There's some lights on the top, along with the route number. Then we have these air conditioning units, which is kind of cool. This whole top, incidentally, will lift up. So you can get a look at the interior, and we'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Around the back of the bus, we have a little area that can lift up, and that's supposed to give you engine maintenance, but there's no engine in there to work on. We have some tail lights and turn indicators, and another route sign, education base. Let's go ahead and try and take a look at the inside. To look at the inside, we're going to have to kind of disassemble it a little bit. Theoretically, you can just open it up, and it gives you some room. And you can see we've got several seats in there, but to really see it, we're going to have to kind of take off this uh, roof molding. So let's do that. All right, so this is the interior of the bus. You can see there is a printed instrument panel behind the steering wheel. There's also a gearbox. This is the printed instrument panel for the bus driver, and it's a unique design. I've not seen this before, so I believe this is their original design rather than something that they just cloned, so that's kind of nice to see. This is their steering wheel. Um, this particular wheel I don't think I've seen before. Um, however, the shaft that it sits on, I remember from old uh, classic space set, so that's kind of interesting and then this guy the steering wheel itself just fits over the stud there um, doesn't turn as well as a traditional lego steering wheel but just kind of interesting to see something a little bit different and this is the token slot or a slot <laughs> uh, where you would put in your bus token uh, and that goes right up front by the driver also a unique print uh, above the driver's head is a computer screen, presumably showing where the next stop on the route is. There are a couple of sideways facing seats here. And another little detail that is not easy to see, um, but uh, right here they have a fire extinguisher right between the seats, which is just kind of a, a fun little detail. Uh, we have some handholds there as both the poles as well as those dangling things. And there's a little bench or something on the other side. It's just a single, uh, it's like a one by six uh, tile in brown. Um, it seems a little out of place, but anyway, that, that's there. And then we've got another handhold pole and a set of handholds down there. We have a couple of front facing seats in orange right below. There's a couple of front-facing seats in blue, and then three more in the back, although you can only fit two figures there because of the, the, how tight they are. But as you can see, we've got 
quite a bit of space in here, including room for figures to stand and use those handholds. So quite a bit roomier on the interior than the Lego version. However, if you have all of this stuff on top, it's pretty tough to get your fingers in there. There are some functional windows, two on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. So you can open and close those uh, as you see fit. Adds to some believability, I suppose. Um, the doors can open and close. Um, oh, as you just saw, these poles just fell down. I will say the clutch power is not quite the same in this, and the overall build quality, uh, the design is good, but the, because the bricks aren't quite as good a quality, they don't hold together very well. And their designer on this particular set, anyway, used um, what LEGO would consider to be illegal building techniques, I think, especially up front here. This is basically three window pieces. Let me try and take this off. So we have three window pieces stacked together um, and just attached with a plate on the bottom and a couple of others on the top. Um, and then you have this hinge piece, and it attaches to the top and folds down, but it folds down at an angle. It doesn't go straight, so it kind of sticks out a little bit. And then this, the very front of the bus, which looks pretty decent, um, it just doesn't stay on that very well at all um, because it's just held on by that um, into these bricks. So it's a snot technique here that attaches like so, and it, it just falls off very easily. Um, so once you have it put together, like I say, it looks really good on display for playability and sturdiness of the model. I gotta say, it's not a pass. In addition, this set came with a brick separator, and this one is a little different than ones I've seen in the past. Um, aside from the color, it's just a slightly different design than the ones that Lego and other companies have put out. Um, but it does essentially the same thing, and uh, I had to use it once because I messed something up, but um, it works the way it's supposed to, so it's a little tough to make out, but there's the Enlighten logo there too. Actually, I think I have it upside down. There you go. So that's it. Enlighten Bricks set number 1121, the city bus. This has been Christian with Rick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave those down below. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care.